Hello guys, welcome back to the Idle Game Tutorial Series Part 4. Um, today we're going to be working on exponents, um, which is basically making so that instead of a thousand, it would say 1e to the 3. It just makes it a lot cleaner. So um, I'm going to grab an example I already have right here. Okay, there we go. We have our, this basically, this whole thing right here, um, adds the exponent. It looks quite a bit, but it's not too bad. Trust me, it's better than what I've done in the past. So we're going to start with the click value one. So we can delete this, or actually, we can replace whatever text needs to be inside. So just copy that, copy that, and then to the add to the end of these, plus coins, plus coins. And then we can delete this. All right, so our text name is click value text. We'll replace it with this one, too. And the thing we're trying to change or make it show the exponent is the click value. Um, here, hold on. It's, oh, are we doing coins? Oh, it is coins click value. Okay. So we're doing coins click value. We'll replace it with every single one of these. If we were doing the coins one, this would be coins. You'll see, it's really, it's really the same thing. I could make a method where it automatically does this, but I really, I really don't want to do that. Because this just looks easier. Um, so we're not doing big double, we're doing math F, math F, math F. Alright, so... Ah, you cannot convert from double to float. Darn, I hate this. This is why I use big double. Um, we're just going to convert this to float. Basically, if this was greater than 1e38, e you're pretty screwed. Can you actually do math? Oh, you can! I forgot about that method. Okay, so what you guys can actually do for this, instead of doing the floats, you can do system.math. This basically allows you to do certain math equations with doubles instead of floats. Because math f is for floats only. Or it can be used for doubles, but... It can only be in the range from whatever floats min and max value is. So we'll do system.math. And um, basically this is it. Um, <laughs> it's that simple. And if we want to do another one, the coins text, we'll just replace, we'll just copy and paste it. Copy the coins text. Uh, make sure all of the strings, part of the text right here says coins. That makes sense. Delete those parts and delete that because we know right here we're basically using coins, 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 coins. So basically, um, a rundown for what's oops for what this does is that the exponent is grabbed by a series of math equations. So it takes one thousand and it finds how many digits are in here. We know there's or three. How many zeros are in here? So we know that um, there's three. So the exponent is three. Okay, the manatiza, I think that's how it's pronounced, is found by the exponent. We divide it. So simply, uh, let's see. Let's take that. This is the exponent. This is the manatiza. So we get this number by dividing whatever coins is by this. So we know that. Um, if we do 1, 2, 3, 4, if we divide that by 4, we get, oh, hold on, no, 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 if we get 10 to the 4, come on, it's not cooperating with me, if we divide that by, is that right? It should be it. Oh, this is 3, actually, oops, there you go, so you'll get this, this is the manatisa, which is... 1.234, 1 1.234, uh, e3. So that's how the exponent system works. And if it's less than, it, display, it just displays the number regularly. It wants it's greater than a thousand, that's when we apply the exponent system. So let's give that a shot. Let's try to get to over a thousand. We changed nothing with tech. We didn't add anything to the scene. Um, okay. So, so by default, it's displaying two zeros, two digits. That's because I have F2. I forgot to change this to F0. F0. 
So we see decimals once it's greater than a thousand. And you'll see how what it looks like. It's cool how it works. All right, here we go. There we go. That's where the exponent system is applied. So we know this is around 1070. We're going to divide that by 10 to the power of 3. And then we get 1.7. That's what this number is. And then we have the three digits here. That's how we get three. And yeah, now you got yourself a number system. So there you go. That's that. You can replace it for everything you want to, but I'm that I feel like that's a waste of tutorial time. So you can do that for everything if you want to. Again, it's just as simple of taking this, replacing it with that. And if you have any more text, and then do that. So we're going to do one more click. We're actually going to do one more upgrade because this one's a series of numbers to add on to. If we had two upgrade, like two big numbers that we want to show exponent systems to, we got to make two strings. So we're going to do this. So we're going to do this twice. So here we go. We got two of these right here. We're going to do the click upgrade cost. Which will the level we won't see anytime soon because we gotta buy that a thousand times. That's a lot. But we're gonna take the level for the second one. Oops. Here you go. Here you go. So this string is gonna be. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted at all. String. We're gonna make that a temporary. Replace the coins text with this too. And then for this one, we're going to need um, level. This is where we don't use the dot text because it's only a string. There you go. So we don't need these extra this extra um, letters or words or any or so or the strings. So we're just going to get rid of it. So it's just numbers. It's pure numbers. So we basically have this all set up. Now what do we do? We replace everything in here. Oops. I, I actually deleted that. Um, what did I do here? Oops. Okay, so we're going to take this cost string, replace it with this right here, and we're going to do the same thing with the level. There you go. It's done. It'll display this exact same thing, but once this becomes a uh, 1,000, it'll show the exponent system. It'll show its exponent. And basically, this is scientific. Uh, scientific, um, if you're wondering what the the number format was. So let's see, can we get cost to a thousand? Let's see, now if we get this to 10,000, it'll display as 1e4. See? It's, it's really simple. It's really convenient too, and it's really easy on the eyes. There you go. See, there it is. It displays everything as normal, and then we have our exponent right here. But once this level gets to a thousand, it'll do the exact same thing. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, for a recap, we basically just developed a text exponent system that automatically transforms 1,000 to the scientific um, form, which is 1 to the E3, or 1E3. And then we uh, tried different ways of displaying uh, an upgrade. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in episode 4, or episode 5. <laughs> yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?